welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by DevTap. In this tutorial we will be covering the basics of Adobe Photoshop CS5. This will be a two part tutorial as there is rather a lot to cover. In the first part we will cover the generic option that everyone should be familiar with in a program, the new Adobe workspaces and how to create a document. In the second part we will cover the toolbar and uses of different windows in the Photoshop workspace. If you want to skip this part and go to part 2 because you are familiar with Photoshop and have used it before, there is a link in the description of this video. Just launch Photoshop. So, like all image editing programs, Photoshop has the File, Edit, Image, Layer, Select, Filter, Analysis, View, Window and Help tabs. New in Adobe Photoshop CS5, you have the tab labelled 3D, which is for all the 3D functionality of CS5. This will be covered in a later tutorial. Under the File tab is the options for opening and creating new documents, as well as the options for importing and exporting documents. That will be covered in a later tutorial. Under the Edit tab is the normal options for undoing and re redoing, as well as cut, copy and paste. Under the Image tab you will find the image adjustment options such as changing the canvas size, as well as the image size, and you will also find the adjustments for colours and hue and saturation etc. The next tab along is the Select tab. These are for options for editing the current selection which will be covered in more detail in later tutorials. Next to that is the Filter tab. This is where all the preset effects are found. Again, these will be individually covered in a later tutorial. As I said before, the 3D tab will be covered in a later tutorial. The View tab is for adding and changing viewing options such as the ruler down here, which is a very handy and useful. The Window tab shows all the different windows that are available in Photoshop. Each of these will be covered in a later tutorial. And finally, we come to the Help tab. This is where you will find the help document for all your Photoshop needs. These things can be rather useless sometimes if you have a problem and you are unable to find a solution. I am happy to help. Just message me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Next on the agenda is the workspace options over here. These are preset layout options for doing certain tasks. Obviously, you may be able to guess their functionality by their name. For example, the painting workspace has all the different windows for brushes, etc., as well as animation. So you can see all the brushes and the presets, history, mini bridge, etc. Now we know all the uses for the user interface, we can move on to creating a new document. Creating a new document in Photoshop is very easy. But at first, the new document window can look a little bit confusing. At the top, we'll go to File, New. At the top, we have the name. You can change the name or just leave it as it is. You'll be able to change it later if you want. Underneath that is the options for different presets. The presets are handy if you're creating a flyer or poster an A4 piece of paper. You can go to International Paper and change it to A4, A5, A3 and all the rest of them. You can also manually change the size of the document and the units. For example, I'm not really one for working in centimetres or millimetres. I prefer to work in pixels, so I'll change that to pixels and I think I'll have my document as 500 
by 500 for sort of the video, the tutorial's purpose. And now we can see the options to change the resolution and the colour, but we'll leave them for now as they are. And finally, come to the background contents. The, here you have three different options white, background colour, and transparent. These are pretty much self explanatory. And as you can tell, white is just just white. Background colour is the colour you have set as your background over here. And transparent is obviously transparent. I think I'll go for a white background. And you can click OK. And here we have our new document. I'll end the tutorial here and carry on in the second part. And don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.